Okay, hello everyone, it's me and Professor Caniero here, and, uh, uh, and in this video that for, uh, uh, for today, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the uh, EBSCO uh, article re re uh, review assignment. And this is your second assignment that's uh, due, uh, second writing assignment that's due during the course of, of, of the session. The first one, of course, being the uh, U.S.-Mexico War assignment, which is due with just, uh, just a couple days uh, down the road. So uh, definitely keep track of all the announcements on, on Blackboard so, uh, so, you don't, so you don't miss out on, the, on that due date. Uh, but this assignment is going to be due in a couple of weeks, actually. It's due on Friday, September 26th. And what you're going to be doing for this assignment is uh, checking out the uh, EBSCO database on the Southwestern uh, Library, uh, library w w website. Uh, again, you don't have to be on campus to, uh, to uh, you don't have to be on the campus uh, library to uh, actually actually find the, the articles uh, uh, with your web advisor in, in information. Your, uh, I think your, I guess your, your, um, your uh, yeah, uh, ID number or la last name, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever numbers you, you need to access web advisor. Just go ahead and use that to uh, to access the uh, access the the Southwestern uh, LRC uh, web, uh, web 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 pages. And uh, uh, before I get into uh, get into EBSCO, we're going to we're going to take a look at EBSCO together to find find some articles. Uh, let me uh, just point out a couple of a uh, couple of uh, uh, major housekeeping items about the assignment, and then we'll get on we'll get on to EBSCO. Number one, I made some changes to the assignment worksheet. The worksheet that was uh, listed in, uh, in in Blackboard in the assignment section since the uh, set, since the uh, uh, since the third week of August, uh, I, I removed that and put a new, put a new worksheet. Reason being is because it looked like it looks like the the campus the library. Uh, I guess their contract with EBSCO changed, and some of the uh, journals, the magazines that had been there before are not, are not there any longer. I'm talking about things like Latino studies and Mexican studies. Uh, I couldn't find any listings for uh, articles from those uh, journals or, or magazines in the past uh, in the past uh, few few months. So I dropped those two journals from the list. And remember, when I say journal, I mean magazine. So uh, journal, magazine, periodical, all those things mean one and the same. So you're going to be looking for, for articles which are housed within journals or magazines, and then EBSCO, the database, that's the big thing which has a collection of different, of, of diff, of different, different journals, and within each journal is a series of articles. So pay close attention to the distinction between those terms. I've had many people in previous classes get confused between journal and article. They think journal and article means the same thing. No, no, no. Journal is uh, the actual magazine or the actual periodical. Again, those three terms are interchangeable, uh, more, more or less. So the journal is the, uh, is the magazine which has the collection of articles, and EBSCO is the database which has a collection of journals. So think of, the, think of it like, like a pyramid scheme uh, uh, or, 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 some, or comparable to say something like, like, like a house. For example, EBSCO, the database is comparable to, to your house, and, uh, um, and, and, and journal or periodical or magazine is comparable to a room in your house, whether it's, uh, whether it's, the, whether it's the, 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 the dining room or whether it's your, your home office. And then the article is comparable to the actual item uh, that is that's within within the room. So in, in an office, whether it's it's a computer, a printer, uh, 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 a cabinet, a chair, uh, a t table, uh, uh, and uh, and a toy for, and, and, and a toy for the kitty to come in uh, to come in and scratch uh, scratching post that type of thing. So so think of articles as essentially the actual items located within the rooms of of, of your house. So if you keep those terms uh, in mind, everybody uh, understand the distinction between database, journal, and article. You'll have no trouble um, navigating through the EBSCO, uh, EBSCO system. Okay, and let me see what other uh, nuts and bolts items I need to mention. Oh, uh, this thing is due, of course, on, as I mentioned, on Friday, September 26th, so just a couple weeks down the road. This will be five to seven pages in length. Uh, you can use a title page if you want, but title pages do not count toward the final page length. So you can make a title page, but it will not, I will not count it as part of the actual text. So in other words, if you turn in a paper which comes in at five pages, but one of those pages includes your title page, uh, the most you can, you'll probably get will be maybe upwards of a B minus, but close to more toward a C plus. So if that happens and you get upset and you write to me and say, Professor, what, 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 what happened? I thought I did everything you asked for. I did this, I did that, blah, blah, blah. But then I'd ask you, well, you have a title page. Does the title page count toward the final page length? And then you look back at, at the instructions and then, then you come back and say, oh, Professor, I'm sorry, I, I totally missed that. Uh, 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 definitely my, my, my bad on my part. So don't fall into that trap, everybody. You can make a title page if you want, but it will not be part of the five to seven pages. Now, in terms of, of the length, um, if you keep it at that length, 
and even upwards of maybe eight, eight and a half, that, that's a good length too. So try not to, but then try not to get too wordy, try not to get too, too long because I've had cases in the past where uh, people give me uh, F school reviews upwards of nine, ten pages, but the thing is, information just keeps getting re uh, re re uh, re repeated on a constant loop, uh, so to speak, and your argument gets lost in the jumble of words and paragraphs and extra pages. Basically, uh, fluff, uh, superfluous information that doesn't really add to your, to your main argument. So don't fall into that trap either. It's really easy to, uh, to just keep writing and writing. I mean, uh, uh, I definitely had, you might say, my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my share of, of that type of thing when I was both in the undergrad at UCSD and even a graduate student at San Diego State. I think some of my high school teachers actually uh, uh, caught, caught, caught me on that a few times, and a few times as as as, uh, as, uh, as well. But uh, but it, so in other words, try to keep your. Uh, I think six to seven pages is a very good length in which you can express your arguments. And when you express your arguments, make sure that you devote a good portion of your your paper to a commentary or perspective analysis of the item that you just read, the article that you just read. So if you have uh, a, let's say, 60%, 40% split of summary versus commentary, or 75, 25%, basically three-quarters summary, one-quarter commentary, that's a pretty good split. That, that, that'll that definitely work, work, work out ju just fine, because what I want is, I don't want you just to tell me what the article is all about. Uh, uh, Professor Chavez says this, he said that, he, he talked about this, and he talked about that, blah, blah, blah. That's fine and dandy, but I want to know what do you think about uh, about the article? What did Chavez's stuff mean, um, uh, mean to you? What did it say to you? How did it help you understand the modern Ch Chicano studies, the Mexican American topics? How did it relate to maybe uh, your, your life? Were there any? Uh, if the article was about immigration, could you uh, uh, find any connections between what the article was saying to maybe your personal experience? So whether uh, what, for those of you who uh, uh, those of you. Uh, 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 can trace may, maybe uh, maybe answers coming from Mexico, maybe it was the 1920s and 1910s, 1940s, or or maybe uh, maybe or maybe some of you can can trace uh, 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 from uh, from say, Central America, so, uh, even South America, e even Spain or Portugal or other parts of Europe, uh, Italy, France, Germany, England. Uh, you you get the idea. So in other words, what I'm asking is, while the majority of your paper is going to be a commentary, please reserve a good portion of it to. Uh, to a commentary, your perspective, your analysis, that is what you thought were the main points that, that apply to you, how they helped you understand not only the uh, topic in the article, but about topics that we're looking at, looking at in the class. But in any case, I'll explain all of, all, I explain all of that stuff, of course, in the assignment worksheet. So again, be sure to go back into the assignment section uh, immediately, get the new worksheet, this is the updated worksheet. Uh, like I said a few minutes ago, I dropped the original worksheet from the beginning of the session. I changed that to a new worksheet because we have new articles, I'm sorry, new journals that you can choose from to find various articles. All right, so with that, I think we're ready to, uh, to rock and roll. So let me go ahead and move the camera uh, over and we'll take, a look at, uh, we'll take a look at Blackboard first and then we'll get into uh, the Southwestern L LRC, uh, uh, LRC web website. Okay. And of course, you can see I got my uh, my my little coffee cup here with paintings from uh, the of the famous uh, master C uh, Cezanne. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. You, you, pr you probably guessed from this week's readings. I'm a big fan of, uh, of 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 art and especially the work of Diego Rivera. So I hope that uh, you've seen the Rivera uh, stuff already and, uh, and and you're finding that an, uh, an enjoyable part of the uh, part of the not just the module, not just the week, but of the class it, it, itself. Okay. All right. Let me get everything queued up. Okay. All right. So here we go. Of course. Uh, here's the announcement section from from Blackboard. And uh, the first thing we need to do right off the bat is go into the Southwestern LRC database uh, uh, page listing. So let's go ahead and click that. It's uh, of course the uh, one of the, the uh, one of the lowest items on the uh, on the course menu. Okay. Yeah, my time time works. 
connection's been a little, little bit slow. Actually, it might, might be more a case where uh, uh, I've had this, this computer now. It's going to be coming on seven years next year, so I think it's definitely coming to the point where it's, uh, its speed isn't as... Uh, it's, well, let's put it this way. It's, it's, not a, uh, it's not a spring chicken or spring rooster as it used to be. I guess much like... Uh, that's like kind of applies to uh, El Profesor's case uh, in, in many respects. All right, well, here we go. Here's the front, here's the front page from the articles and databases. So the first thing you want to do right now is at the very top, click the EBSCO, the EBSCO link, EBSCO host academic search pre -pre premiere. So it's right there at the very, very top for you. And I already have it, have it queued up uh, already here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the window uh, behind behind the uh, Southwestern page, and we'll go ahead and get right into EBSCO. But what's going to happen is that when you click this, it's going to take you to the uh, to the sign-in page in which you uh, enter your WebFizer information. So so just put in your basic information. I think it's your, your six-digit birth date, uh, your, I guess, your first name, last name. Uh, so whatever you use to log into WebAdvisor, uh, use that to log into EBSCO host. And again, it's the top one, the Academic Search pr uh, Premier. And it's right over here, and it's over here right, right now. Okay, all right, so um, first thing right off the bat, let me talk a little bit more about these uh, search parameters or search uh, li limiters, uh, uh, modes, expanders, uh, whatever term you wish to use. Right off the bat, at the very top where it says search modes, keep it where it says Boolean phrase. That's a classic search, search strategy. Um, um, uh, I know in the colleges and I think in, 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 and I think in the high schools too, they definitely, they definitely talk about that. So keep it there, no need to, uh, no need to change that. We want full text articles, articles which have the entirety of the text in either HTML or PDF format. Um, so to read, so to, to read the articles, make sure, of course, you've got software like the Adobe Reader or the Apple Pages or anything else which reads uh, PDF files. We'll click full text, and uh, over, and then over here on the right, we want to click peer reviewed. What that means is that these are going to be, we're going to be looking at scholarly articles which are checked off by other scholars in, in the field. So, for example, let's say a professor up at Cal State San Bernardino, she writes a, a, an article about the uh, about the Chicano movement, and she talks a little bit more about the art that was popular, especially in the cities in the early in the late sixties, early seventies, and uh, and and uh, before her work gets published. It's reviewed by peers across the country. So maybe for somebody from Cal, from uh, UC Santa Barbara, Cal State Northridge, Oregon State, uh, Michigan, um, <clears throat> um, uh, Texas, El, El Paso, these scholars uh, come in and say, yes, uh, Professor Valenzuela, she does a great job of analyzing new ways of looking at the art, her perspective on Rivera, Siqueiros, uh, Frida Kahlo, blah, 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 uh, is... is uh, it's unique, it's new, it's this, it's, it's that. You get the idea. So, in other words, when you have stuff which is being checked off by other scholars in that field, field, it's peer-reviewed, that's good. So, that means we're on the right track. So, when you click peer-reviewed, you're going to get some really good articles. All right, document type, we want articles. So, right, we just click the third uh, item right here. And publication type, what kind of a publication or magazine do we want? We want, well, we want a, a journal, but periodical is the same thing. So a periodical and journal essentially mean the same thing. We're talking about academic magazines. So let's click periodical. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And now we want to make sure that we have articles which are at least eight pages. So in this drop-down menu, number of pages, let's click greater than and type in the seven in the box next to it. So just as you remember from elementary school math, middle school algebra or whatever or whatever math you, you had uh, back, back in your back back in your younger days, uh, so to speak. Um, and uh, when you click greater than seven, you're gonna get stuff that's at least eight pages and that and, and as I mentioned in the assignment worksheet, that's the uh, um, that's the um, uh, that's 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 the minimum that's the minimum page length of the uh, minimum page length that 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 minimum page length that that, that I want for your uh, for 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 your, your your articles. All right, and let's see what else I need to mention here. Um, no, I think that that pretty much pretty much should do it. So let's go ahead and find some articles. Let's do a, let's do a couple of quick searches and see what kind of things we can find in the uh, at the very top of the. Uh, at the very top of the assignment worksheet, I've got I've got sections there about uh, about the types of uh, 
uh, subject choices you can find. So I've got Chicanos, Chicano history, Chicano art, Latinos, Chicano movement. That's just a sample. You can go, you can narrow it down a little bit further. So if you want to put in things such as the Zoot Suit Riots, uh, Mexican Im immigration, Cesar Chavez, Dolores Hu Hu Huerta, uh, anything, anything li like that, that's fine too. But I would suggest you go with a broader topic first and then narrow it down a, a little, little bit later. But so let's go ahead and start with uh, something that we'll definitely get into in the next couple of weeks. And that, of course, is the Chicano movement. Let's click at the very top or up at the main EBSCO search box, Chicano movement. And let me tilt the camera up a little bit so you can see what, what, what I have here. All right, so what, Chicano movement, let's click the green search button and see what results we come up with. Okay, here we go. Uh, we've got eight. We've got eighteen. We've got eighteen to search from. So uh, ideally, we would have. We would have liked. Liked. We would have. We would have liked. Like more. But that's why I've got a variety of different topics at, uh, in the assignment worksheet that that you that you, can, you that you can draw upon. So if you're not satisfied by uh, typing in Chicano movement, just try something else like Latinos, Hispanic Americans, Mexican Americans, Chicano art, uh, uh, maybe a Chicano music. Maybe you want to find something about uh, Tierra, Carlos Santana, a little. Linda Ronstadt, Vicky Carr, any uh, uh, any any of the, any of those uh, uh, artists, uh, 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 Julio Iglesias, uh, e e even by all means, go ahead, go ahead and and and, and do that. But let's go to Chicano movement for now and see if any of these articles and any of these articles work work just fine. Okay, this one here. Uh, uh, the first one is is by uh, Cesar, about Cesar Chavez, and it's written by Korean. It's like a uh, uh, Koo uh, Byung Park. And uh, it looks pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, it's volume 24. It's from 2011. It's issue three. And you look, you look, let me zoom in the camera a little bit here. Uh, it's 24 pages. So when you see the 24 and the P, that means it's a 24 page article. Um, so it seems to be, be be all right, and I think it's an English translation of a Korean of an article that first appeared in, in the Korean language. So it seems to be okay. Can, can we use it? Mm, not not just yet. Oh, ho hold on a moment here. Um, if you look at the at the at the term right next to uh, uh, to Park's name, it's something called the Asian Journal of Latin American Studies. Now, anytime you see the term in italics, that's the name of the journal. That's the name of the magazine. So. That's important because we want to make sure that that journal is part of, of the list of authorized journals on the assignment worksheet. So let's uh, take the term Asian Journal of Latin American Studies, check it off with a list on the, uh, on the new, on the revised worksheet. And if we see there's no, there's no match up there, there's nothing there that matches between the two. So what that means is that that's a journal that is not on the authorized list. You can't use it. So we're going to have to skip that one completely and go on to number two. The Chicano Movement is by Jose Angel Gutierrez, and it's uh, uh, also fairly recent, January, February 2011, volume 102, issue 1, and it's 8 pages, so it clocks right in at the 8 page uh, eight minimum, minimum length. Um, uh, can we use it? What, what journal is it from? What's the magazine that, that it's listed under? Again, we look at the term that's in italics, it's Social Studies Magazine, Social Studies Journal. Is Social Studies part of the authorized list? I click here. Yes, it is. I've, in fact, I just added that one on recently. So yes, you can use this one by Gutierrez, and it's in it's in PDF full text. So just click the PDF icon. You can uh, you you can uh, uh, as long as you have a PD, uh, something that reads PDF files, you can read it. You can print it. You can download it. Or if you or if you want to it. Uh, investigate the entry even more. Even more, you can email the article to yourself. Email the PDF. Uh, uh, the PDF form uh, uh, for, uh, form uh, to to your to, your, to yourself, uh, <clears throat> but again, uh, the the point is this one by Gutierrez is perfect. It's from so Social Studies Journal. It's PDF full text, so choice two is definitely one you can use. But let's say you don't like that one. Let's say you want to check what number three is all about, and this one is about. Oh, this one is a really intrig intriguing topic. It's by Lori Flores. It's, it talks about the, or a tragic event which happened to uh, farm workers in, uh, in, in the Salinas Valley in 1963. So if we want to get into a little bit more of a uh, historical topic, going back uh, four decades, this one looks really, really in, in, in intriguing. It, and look at all the topics that, that, uh, that Flores covers. Traffic accidents, vehicular homicide, railroad accidents, agriculture, uh, attitudes, uh, Salinas, 20th century, le uh, legal issues, foreign workers, uh, 
all kinds of uh, interesting subjects that Flores tackles. So if we zoom in a little bit on, on, on more of the specifics, it's uh, summer 2013, so very, very recent, just a, a year ago, volume 44, issue 2, and it's 20 pages. So you see the 20p. Can we use this article? What's the journal? The journal is Western Historical Quarterly. Can we use that? Yes, yes, we can. It's on the list on the on the authorized on the authorized uh, uh, on the authorized journals from from, from uh, uh, um, on, on, on the worksheet. So yes, absolutely, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and, and use that one. So right off the bat of these eighteen choices, you can use two of, of two of the first three. And uh, uh, I don't want to belabor the point and go over all of the eighteen choices, but you see the idea, everybody. All you need to do to make sure that you got the right journal is look at the term that's in italics in the entry for the author. Uh, and if the term in italics matches up with the journals listed on the assignment worksheet, then you're in great shape. And already right off the bat, uh, the ones by Gutierrez and Flores work perfectly. So, uh, so these two immediately uh, uh, are, are perfectly, perfectly suitable for the assignment. But let's say you want to find an article from a specific journal. And let's say you want to find something from the, something called the Journal of American Ethnic History. That sounds intriguing. So let's do a new search. Let's back up. Go, let's go back to where it says new search at the very at the top left by the EBSCO uh, EBSCO uh, 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 circle I, uh, uh, icon, and we're back at the main search uh, button. So let's do our, our our parameters again. We want full text, article, periodical, peer-reviewed, number of pages greater than seven. And uh, let's find a subject first. Let, let's say some of you might be interested in. Let's let's go. Let's let's just say uh, Mexican Americans. Let's type in Mexican Americans at the very top. Okay, everybody see that? Okay, all right. Mexican Americans. We got all our limiters here, so we can do a search. Right? Not just yet. Uh, there's one thing that we can do right now to really narrow our our focus. You see where it says publication. What that's asking you is that, do you want to search a specific magazine or a journal? And in this case, you're curious to see as to what the journal uh, called Journal of American Ethnic History has on that topic. So let's do that. This is our. Uh, this will really narrow down our focus. We're not going to get a uh, hundred a uh, uh, hundred entries. Maybe we, we might get. Uh, uh, like like 10, 12, or 15 at the very most. But let, let's just see what happens. So we type in Journal of American Ethnic History, and undoubtedly this will get into issues not just pertaining to Chicanos, but I'm sure African Americans, a a Asians, and na Native Americans, uh, 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 Hindu Americans, uh, Sikhs, m m Muslims. Uh, uh, I think... Uh, I think the possibilities are, are endless. So anyway, we got all our all our, our, our parameters here: Mexican Americans, Boolean, peer reviewed, full text, blah blah blah. And but the main thing is that we want to make sure we're going we're going to check the Journal of American Ethnic History. So with that, all of that out of the way, let's click the green search button and see what 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 transpires. Okay, here we go. We got set. We, uh, we we got seven of them. We we got seven. We got seven entries, and uh, all these entries uh, looks like looks like they fit in perfectly. Um, they're all they're all over uh, uh, over eight pages. In fact, it looks like the shortest one here clocks in at a. Uh, <clears throat> Looks like clocks in at, uh, at, uh, at, at 22 pages. So um, let's say maybe you have an interest in, in religion, religion in Texas, Catholicism, and you want to, and uh, this one here uh, by, uh, called by choice on uh, choice two by David Badillo. Ba 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 uh, David Badillo has something called Beyond, Between Alienation and Ethnicity, the Evolution of Mexican American Catholicism in San Antonio. And it's from, it's a, um, it's a little, little bit old, summer nineteen summer nineteen ninety seven, but it's uh, uh, but it's uh, it's twenty two pages. Now it comes in at HTML full text. So when you see HTML full text, what's going to happen is it's going to uh, is that most likely it won't be HTML immediately. But you're going to have to uh, type in another uh, another button, t type in something else, and then and then it, then it'll give you information. Let's let's let's, let's take a look uh, before we wrap up. Uh, let's 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 take a look and see what. Uh, what our, our results are, and then we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Oh, here we go. Okay, it gives us the full text r right here. So, um, so here we go. So, 
So th there you go, perfect. So there's no need to worry about doing an extra step. And uh, and over here, here's what you can do with the article. Looks like you can save it, you can print it, you can email it to yourself, you can share it, you can share it with, with, with others. Uh, but but again, this article uh, cl clock clocks in perfectly. It fits all all, all the guidelines, all, all fits all, all, all the, uh, the, the 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 parameters and. Uh, um, uh, and it talks about religion in San Antonio in the early parts of the of the 20th century. So, uh, so just with that with that with that search that um, that limiting search in which we just focused in on uh, items from the Journal of American Ethnic History, we've got seven great articles that we can choose from. So you can do that with uh, that journal or the other journals like Western Historical Quarterly, um, Social Science Quarterly. And also, oh, one, one final note that I need to mention. If you're going to find articles from the journal called the Pacific Historical Review, be careful because apparently EBSCO won't give you the information, the, 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 the full text right here. You've got to go to the main campus to actually find those articles. So for those of you taking on-campus classes and you want to check uh, journals from the, uh, I'm sorry, articles from the Pacific Historical Re Re uh, Review, then you've got to be on campus to actually access those. So uh, so that's about the only uh, a glitch or gremlin I guess I, I need to uh, war warn you of in that, in that EBSCO won't give you the information at, at, at your home, at, at, your, uh, at your office uh, com computer. You actually have to be physically on the main campus to actually find it. But again, that's only for the Pacific Historical Re uh, Re Review. Everything else uh, looks like it's, uh, it's easy to find either in HTML or PDF format. And anything else I need to mention here? Nope, there it goes. So that's, uh, uh, that's some of the ways in which you can find articles on articles on EBSCO. So again, remember everybody, uh, EBSCO is the database. Uh, you're finding articles, but the articles are in journals, which which of course means uh, it's a, a a term which essentially means academic academic uh, uh, academic ma ma magazine magazine. Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, a little bit too much coffee before I made the video, so I think it finally caught up with me as I'm, as I'm wrapping up. So on that note, I think I'll go ahead and start wrapping things up here. So I hope this video helps everybody. Any concerns or questions, let me know. Oh, and uh, when you do decide what article you want to work on, let me know immediately. Uh, send me the, uh, you, you can send me the article directly here from EBSCO, or just let me know. Uh, let me know via message for, for professor. Uh, but, once you, but once you start having an, an idea what you want to work on, then get that information to me as uh, as quick quickly as possible. All right, so that's it from here. That's it from El Profesor and the uh, and the old French Valley headquarters. Uh, uh, you got you got you guys to take care, and of course I'll be back with you guys again very soon.